Marilyn Monroe died August 5, 1962. She was 36 years old. Her naked body was found in her villa in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California. At the time of her death, Monroe had suffered from mental illness and substance abuse for several years, and had not completed a film since The Misfits, released in 1961. Monroe spent her last day, Saturday, August 4, at her home in Brentwood, accompanied by publicist Patricia Newcomb, housekeeper Eunice Murray, photographer Lawrence Schiller, and psychiatrist Dr. Ralph Greenson. At Greenson's request, Murray stayed overnight to keep Monroe company. At approximately 3 a.m. the next day, she noticed that Monroe had locked herself in her bedroom and was unresponsive. Murray summoned Greenson, who arrived soon after and broke into the room, finding Monroe deceased. Monroe's body was removed from her residence that afternoon. She would soon be buried at the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles. Marilyn loved her villa outside the busy city. Friends of Marilyn claimed to have felt her presence in the home after her death. This is a picture of Marilyn's kitchen the day of her death. A glass exploded while this photo was being taken. Here is another photograph taken by investigators the day of Monroe's death. This photo is of the main living area. Monroe's belongings had already been removed. This group of real estate pictures reveals many anomalies. This 1972 photograph captured Miss Monroe sitting in her favorite spot by the pool. Marilyn's spirit is pictured here inside of the garage. Streaks of light captured on the patio near the side of Monroe's house. Here you see the shadowy outline of a female near the front gate. The patio by the pool reveals the most disturbing image ever captured at the Brentwood Villa. Many say Marilyn Monroe left this earth much too early, while others say she never left us at all. Tell us what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe.